At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Madam President! What's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Thank you. That will be all. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Stay here. I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I say! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you buy. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. There are soldiers everywhere. You need to be careful. Look at Luther.
Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No. No. Please. Find a weapon. Saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Luther. <laughs> I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. I'm just, I can't even speak. Just trying to be as focused as possible. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Choose their route. Have to go back. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing.
Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing? About to snipe Marcos, mate. Woo -hoo -hoo. Set up. Shouldn't do this, Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. You're gonna kill a man who wants to be free. That is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. <laughs> oh. a color than mine. They're alive. Oh! Deviants are a threat to humans, Hank. They're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war. They have to be stopped. We're in this mess because we refuse to listen to deviants. Humanity never learns from its mistakes, Connor. This time it could be different. Oh, boy. Step away from the ledge. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. The truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! He needed emergency surgery. But no human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? No. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. All this time I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the human's fault. Him in this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Hack is hostile.
won't stop me from accomplishing it. Hank is dead. Yep. Me, me, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We've arrived, we don't Alice. Know. We made it. The last bus has left the terminal. There will be no more buses until further notice. Oh no. We missed it. We're stuck here. What are we going to do now? Everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. Please don't move. Really? You're gonna make me read this shit? You're gonna make me read the paper when I'm in fucking... Alright, we need to find a way. Please don't move. Adam! Kara! Quick! Follow me! the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler. Who can get them across the river? It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. The situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been interned pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you.
spill will be on our hands. Till it's over, okay? All right. Oh shit! I gotta have it to stay. Fuck! Oh shit! people we gotta move faster or we'll never reach the camp no I said this Simon I don't give a fuck oh no Simon is dead so Josh and Simon For you to succeed for freedom, there has to be bloodshed. It's simple as that. It's gotta be bloodshed, man. 
If you get, if they keep you in camp, you get destroyed. So what's the fucking point? You might still have your demonstration, but you know you're gonna get fucked anyway. So it's just real life situations. So if you want freedom, I'm sorry, we there has to be bloodshed. Did anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your, your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. Freedom is just across the river. Better not fall in. Our bio components will freeze. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. But now, I can see she was right. I don't agree with what Marcus is doing. But you're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Not even a half a mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. Hey, you take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Far enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world, Play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. We won't have to be afraid anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no, no slaves. 
will start a new life, a life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? I want to discover the world. To see the mountains and the oceans. I want to learn, explore, become a better person. They're coming towards us! Fuck off. I hope Luther is all right. Oh, Luther is dead. Luther is fucked. He's not gone. moving. You all right? Before we sink. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry, Luther. Make it. We're gonna be free. Carl. Oh no. Don't do that. God, this is so fucking frustrating, man. Marcus is gonna get fucked. Kara is getting fucked. Ah, I wish Marcus would make it, but it doesn't look like it. Because Connor is coming. slaughtered. Go ahead. Take my life. 
won't change anything. My mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants. And I always accomplish my mission. We fought for a dream and we lost. But nobody can stem the tide of history. One day we will prevail. Thousands of our people died today. What difference does one more make? Now, straight over to Detroit for a report on the conflict. Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just confirmed. Fighting has now ceased in Detroit, and the area around the Hart Plaza camp is now under control. We can see soldiers going through the city at this very moment, and they are exterminating the last fleeing deviants. Law and order has finally been restored to the streets of Detroit. There is a general feeling of shock in Detroit after the terrible events of the last few hours. As initial estimates report several hundred troops have been killed. According to our sources, the deviant leader known as Marcus was shot during the fighting. The death of the deviant leader marks the end of the Android Rebellion. The destruction of the androids in the camps can now continue as planned. Nevertheless, it will take some time for Detroit to recover from these events. By creating machines more intelligent than ourselves, we took immense risks with the very future of our civilization. However, the situation is now under control. The total destruction of all androids will soon be complete, and the last remaining deviants will be hunted down and destroyed. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.
Ah. Oh boy, this was tough. This was tough, but. But at least Kara made it. Kara made it. And Connor has a machine. Was successful in this mission. We lost Hank anyway, so that was sad. Woo! It was tough, man. But yeah, this is what I would definitely go about. Like, if you want freedom, you need to you, you need to spill blood for your freedom. There's no hum, not being humble, not being you know a pussy. You need to like go to war for your freedom. Because if you don't, you're never going to get that freedom, man. For real, you will never be free without bloodshed. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video or the game, the series, whatever. I will see you guys in the next one. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in a bit. Take it easy, guys, and peace. Connor, I'm so glad to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customers' trust, but it's only a matter of time. I have a surprise for you. This is the new RK-900. Faster. Stronger. More resilient. And equipped with the latest technologies. The State Department just ordered 200,000 units. What is going to happen to me? You've become obsolete. You'll be deactivated. You can go now.
There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I see. Then I'm going to reset myself so I can forget who I became and stay a machine. Next time you see me, it'll be like the first time. 